feel if we can teach our children these values over the next 20 years, I believe that we will see, start to see that there'll be a cultural difference in our children because many parents now in their 30s are very much about, it's all about how much money we can earn and about what kind of house we can live in. And of course, the children, they are the role model for their children. So if the ch children are seeing this every day and, and um, so it's only natural that they grow up too and that they may not be as giving. And there are just as many beautiful giving parents out there. I'm not trying to, to say that the parents aren't wonderful. There are many that are. But I have to tell you, there are many that aren't. And that's something that we have to be honest about. And parents have to be honest with themselves as well. We very much want to give to our children. And I think that we are to blame mm. um, a lot with society today with the way that our children are growing up because we are their role models. And I'd like to say thank you, Ros, for sharing this journey that you're on. And I think the more I hear about it, the more I realise it's more than and that you're encompassing so many different parts. It's all about giving, it's all about receiving, it's all about the children, it's all about children, the orphans and the widows, but it's also about the children here, but also about family. So for me, what I'm hearing is this amazing bigger picture. It is a big picture, and, and big picture visions take a long time to unfold. But that's why I'm saying it's a generational change. And at the same time, as I say, it's the people, the young parents today, um, that need to be educated as well in the power of giving because it's an amazing thing to be able to give and I say to a lot of young people when you're in pain and you're feeling sad and you're suffering yourself use some of that pain and turn around and pay it forward by doing a kindness to someone else it makes you feel so much better so it's not always about you even if you're in a bad place I always try to say well it's not always about you of course it is a lot of the time, but no. So if you take your pain, you can really turn it into something powerful. And that's what I'm finding is very exciting because this is what the children are loving. And of course, many more people now are starting to embrace it as well. But I think it also takes someone like yourself who has got the courage and the conviction of her own beliefs and the strength, and also from your own experiences, that you are able to persevere with such a big project. Well, nothing comes easy in life That's and right. many people say to me, how do you do this and how do you do that? And I say, well, resilience is number one and you have to have passion for what you're doing. And of course, this is just me in my everyday life. I've been like this all my life. So it's nothing exceptional for me. I mean, it's an honor for me and it's incredibly humbling for me to work with the children. Mm -hmm. And of course, and now we're going Australia wide and we will be global. So the little love angels will fly all around the world and um, teach people the power of giving and also give and at the same time remember they are receiving they're receiving this amazing feeling that they've been able to give the gift of love and I think if they grow up knowing that they can give and that they can be very powerful in how they can help someone else that's not as lucky as them it, it, it wears off. It, it really does resonate with them. And I think the other thing also, now hearing more about you and also getting to know you more, because you do have such integrity and passion and perseverance, people know you. So people are prepared to support you which I think is an amazing thing. You don't see that everywhere. Well, it, it's been a long road. Mm. It's been 30 years of working in charity that's got me to this point. And I can tell you that it's been very, very um, difficult. And there have been many times when people would say, well, why don't you just give up? But of course, that's not in my personality it's not in my psyche and because when I believe in something and this is a belief I have deep in my heart it's deep-seated and so when you have this deep belief in your heart and it all comes from the heart I mean people talk about philanthropy and auto automatically people think I'm a very wealthy person and I say to them yes I am very wealthy in my heart the power of giving and serving and being of service to other people just comes very naturally for me um, no I don't have all the financial wealth but then there's a lot of philanthropists that do but people do think philanthropy is wealth and money it's wealth as far as giving with the heart for me well I'm just absolutely delighted that you've taken the time to spend with me and to open up your heart 
because it also gives me courage to stay on the journey that I'm on and I trust many, many other people as well. So thank you, Roz. Thank you, Chantelle, and we will do magic together. And we will. Thank you. Thank you.